What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using a fan favorite Pokemon on the rank regulation G ladder. We have ourselves a choice specs Mewtwo team. Now when it comes to Mewtwo, this Pokemon is honestly in the lower tier of restricted Pokemon. There are just better restricted Pokemon, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna use it and it doesn't mean we're not gonna grab ourselves a winning record or hopefully grab ourselves a winning record with this Pokemon. But to be honest, I love Mewtwo. I love using it and I still think it hits like an absolute truck, especially with the choice specs as its item. It also has the unnerved ability and this one's rocking expanding force, Psy Strike, Earth Power, and Dark Bulls. So we got two stab moves alongside with two covered moves alongside with the Dark Terror type. Could work wonders today. Hopefully, we can grab you guys some wins. But to pair up with Mewtwo, we are rocking out with Indeedee, a perfect partner for that because it has the Psychic Surge as its ability. Furthermore, it's got the Psychic Seeds to get that special defense boost every time it hops onto the field. Not every time, only for the first time. But still, we love Indeedee. Furthermore, it's got Follow Me, Dazzling Gleam, Helping Hand, and Skill Swap to reset that Psychic Terrain. Two other Pokemon on today's team is going to feature Fluttermane and Chiyu, a strong combo that has been the game ever since Chiyu has been released in the ranked battles. This combo is just ridiculous, both of them hitting really hard. Chiyu's got the Choice Scarf with a great solid special attacking move pool, and Fluttermane's got the Booster Energy with Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Ice Wind for Speed Control, and Protect. Our final two Pokemon on today's team going to feature Wellspring Ogre Pond. I'm not going to say anything about that Pokemon, we've been using it a lot lately. And then we have Tornadus. Tornadus there. Pretty simple uh, move set for him, Bleak Wind Storm, Tailwind, Protect, Rain Dance, we got Weather Control, Speed Control, what more can you want from your Tornadus? Guys, you want to run the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match, showcasing Mewtwo in ranked Regulation G. Hopping into our first match, we are going up against Ditto. We love Ditto, just a little gooey glob of purpleness. I don't know what more to say about it. I like using it and I like first in it, so that's cool. They also have Shadow Rider Calyx, which is gonna be the restricted Pokemon, obviously. Then furthermore, they got Wimscott, Fluttermane, Ogre Pond in the fire form and Dragonite. Okay, so they could set a little bit of speed with Wimscott, which could be, I would say a slight issue, but to be honest, not really, because we could just go into Tornadus and kind of match their speed energy, but they could go Wimscott and Shadow Rider Calyx, which I do not like. I really don't like that. I don't like that. But I could honestly just go like Mewtwo alongside with Indeedee, which wouldn't be bad because I can always just terrestrialize Mewtwo into Dark type, which really helps us up against Calyrex. So to be honest, I say we go into both of them. I say we go into both of them and then bring Fluttermane Chi in the back end. I'm cool with this. I'm definitely cool with this. If they want to take speed control right off the rip, that's fine. They can waste a turn out doing that. We were just going to terrestrialize our Mewtwo into a perfect terror type for Shadow Rider Calyrex, right? Because Astro Barrage will not infect Indeedee due to its normal typing, and then it will be not very effective onto my Mewtwo, which is great. And furthermore, it is a Psychic type, which means Psychic moves won't affect Dark type Pokemon. So the terrestrialization is going to be perfect, and that's exactly what we're going to do with this lead right here, with their little Shadow Rider Calyrex. So they can go, obviously, Tailwind and just start attacking, which I think they're going to do, right? I believe they're going to do that. In this case, we're just going to hit that Terra button. We are just going to hit that Terra button. Love this little Psychic Terrain. I get that Special Defense boost as well. And we'll start attacking here. We will start attacking. And to be honest, I'm going to go Dazzling Gleam just in case there's a Focus Dash onto that Shadow Rider Calyrex. That's fine. And then we'll just go into a... Uh, Choice Specs Dark Pulse. And then maybe we'll just swap our uh, Mewtwo later. But they end up just swapping Wimscott here. So Wimscott's gonna get the hard swap. Maybe they think we're popping a trick. Here. And Ditto's gonna come out here. Oh, we love ourselves a Ditto. We love ourselves a Ditto. So now they got two restricted Pokemon. I love it. I love it. No berries loud either. That's actually sick. Now they got two restricted Pokemon. Double trouble. You two and Shadow Rider Calyx. I actually really like that combo right there. Especially in the terrain. They could just spam expanded force. This is looking a bit scarier than I thought. It's looking real scary. He ends up going for the expanded force, which is fine. It's not going to affect Mewtwo. Indeed, he should be able to soak. We love it. Yeah, it's not very effective. And Dark Pulse is going to fly here. Most likely just KO this thing, right? Nope, it's Focus Action. Good thing we doubled down with Dazzling Gleam. This is exactly why. But, yo, such a solid turn for us. Especially going into this, uh, this Dark Terror type up against this Mewtwo here. 
What are you gonna go for? A, a, a psychic move? No, it's just not gonna work. And now we're sitting in a decent position. So this thing has leftovers. It's not choice spec. Um, I could swap Mewtwo if I want and save it for later. That's definitely an option. But from here, we might just go for follow me, right? We might just go for follow me. And honestly, should we? I mean, I'd rather just go for this. And I could just keep going for Dark Pulse into this Mewtwo slot now. We could just keep firing off, even though I believe he takes our terror too, right? Does Ditto take our terror type? I'm curious. Can he go Dark Terror or does he have his own Terror type? I'm actually curious. Let's see. Are you Dark Terror? No, you have your own. Okay, that's good to know. So he has his own Terror type. Nice little Steel Terror type gonna fly through here. That's fine. I like the Pokemon that we have. I could see a Tailwind set up here. And yeah, there's gonna be a Tailwind. So they end up going for Tailwind. I'm not worried about him going for Expanded Force or anything. For now, we're just gonna deal with what he has. So Dark Pulse is gonna fly and we're soaking that. We're soaking that. Dark Pulse is gonna fly on our end. How much damage is this really going to do to him? You two killing it. Is this Dazzling Gleam going to finish it off? No, it's close though. It's very close. It's very close. So he's going to get some HP back due to leftovers. Um, His Mewtwo doesn't have Protect, which is good to know. And I just love our, our, our uh, typing here. Our typing is just so solid. It's just so solid. So I could go for a follow me, which might be my best interest. But to be honest, I'm just going to go Dazzling Gleam. I think Mewtwo's just going to attack us anyway. The Moonblast is going to fly here. And wow, I thought you were going to go for Dazzling Gleam instead. And you're going to go for Dark Pulse. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So you take out my Ndidi, I take out your Mewtwo and Shadow Rider Calyrex. And we are killing it. We are killing it. We are killing it. Bye-bye, Mewtwo. Get on out my face. Bye-bye. But a hot start for us. Once I once I realized what they had with their team, I was like, if they lead Whimsicott and Shadow Rider Calyrex, we are 100% terrestrializing Mewtwo and getting after it. Everything worked out perfectly so far. But we get rid of the, their Ditto. We get rid of their Shadow Rider Calyrex. Now we have a choice to go into Chiyu or into Fluttermane. And honestly, I think just going into Fluttermane might be our best option here. As they have Dragonite. That's so perfect. That's so perfect. Probably Choice Band as well. You can't hit me with E speed. You can't hit me with a dragon move. You're probably gonna choice into like aerial ace. We love this. And how many turns are left in? How many turns are left in uh, Trick Room or Tailwind? Two. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna go for a dazzling or not dazzling gleam, an icy wind here. And if I can pull off another dark pulse, I'd love to do that. But he's just gonna go for Moonblast to KO me here. That's fine. You should not be able to KO my Fluttermane. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. You should not be able to KO my Fluttermane. You should not. And we're actually outspeeding you even in the Tailwind. So Icy Wind gonna fly here. Another Icy Wind will KO the Dragonite. And we get a speed drop, which is good because I have my choice spec book one. And you got Iron Head, which, oh wow. It's KO me. That's KO me. You honestly might win this match. Unless you're choicing an Iron Head. That seems like a choice move right there. That seems like a choice move, because now we got Chi Yu. And we're choice scarfed here. And I'm thinking we can outspeed. I'm really thinking we can outspeed. And I'm gonna go into a heat wave. I know it's not very effective on the Dragonite, but two? Maybe one of them could honestly just KO. But I'm gonna go into this. And he's gonna actually outspeed me, which kinda sucks, man. Kinda sucks. Heat wave is missing somebody. Who's dodging this? Dragonite dodges it. Okay, please tell me your choice into Iron Head. Please tell me your choice in Iron Head. It'd be lovely. You're not. We lose. We lose this. How we lose this match? We were playing so well, too. We were playing so well just to end up losing this one. That one hurts. That one definitely hurts. Moving on to our second match, and we are going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room. This one's going to be a pain in the neck. This Pokemon is ridiculously strong, but they also have a Lone Nine Tails to try to set Aurora Veil which could be rather annoying, which makes me kind of want to go into our Tornadus. We can always pop a Rain Dance and just stop things right then and there. Or I could honestly just go into like Chi Yu, alongside with Fluttermane. We would outspeed at that point. And this lead's not bad. I actually really like this lead. So I'm going to end up going into both these guys just for our lead. In the back end, um, we have to deal with Trick Room. I don't know how we're going to deal with it. I really don't know how. I mean, we could go into Ndidi. Ndidi could be good for wasting out turns. And I think we might just go in DD and Mewtwo. So same squad as last time, just different order. 
I like the Pokemon that we do have because if I can choice or not choice, uh, if I can terrestrialize my Mewtwo into Dark, which could be good, I'm going to be super effective onto that Crest, onto the Indeedee, onto the Shadow Rider, or not Shadow Rider, the Ice Rider, Calyrex. Everything just works perfectly. So, let's see. We shall see. But who are they going to lead here? It's going to be Crest and Incineroar, which I don't mind. I'm just going to go terrestrialization with Chiyu, stop the fake out, and then just go into a Dark Pulse. Do I go Dark Pulse or do I just go Overheat? I honestly might just go Overheat instead of Dark Pulse. And the reason I say Overheat instead of Dark Pulse is because Crest could just Terrastalize. Let's be honest, Crest could just Terrastalize and Overheat can do a ridiculous amount of damage. 130, oh yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely going to this. Overheat, we're going to go for a Moon Blast, just looking to do as much damage as we possibly can into this Crest. Just trying to KO it. We will Terrastalize, we're going to hope that they're actually terrestrializing the crest because i'd be mad at myself for not going for dark pulse but if they don't i still feel as overheat and moon blast can potentially just get the job done like the damage output's insane especially with the uh the special defense drop that chiyu offers with this ability and yeah they're terrestrialized so we make this read all day we make this read all day what type of you got though is it fairy most likely fairy right yeah that's a simple read for us we make that read all day, and we're hoping this could still be enough damage just to KO. So he is going to try to go for the fake out. Our terror works perfectly. Moonblast going to fly here. How much damage are you doing, Moonblast? Overheat, can you, can you get the job done? Can you get the job done? I love you. I love you. That's a big time play for us. That's a big time play for you, boy. That's a big time play. So now we probably want to reset our choice scarf and reset our special attack drop by swapping to you. But let's see who they go into. That's a big time play for us. That's a big time play for us. Let's see who they go into. Because Incineroar is going to be a little bit of a problem. They're going to bring out Calyrex. Now Calyrex, let's be honest, it could just pop the trigger. You don't have Terra, so maybe I might just spam another Overheat. Here. I might just spam another Overheat. I am going to spam another Overheat. I'm going to go for Overheat, and I'm just going to go into... I'm going to double down. I don't think you protect here. You don't. Cool. So I'm going to be able to drop a Moon Blast here. Dealing some nice damage. Overheat. Can he get the job done again? Minus two, but stab super effective. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Chiyu. That's huge. That's massive. Chance I go for knockoff and KO my Chiyu, but that's all good. That's all good. That's totally fine. Chiyu just got work done. Getting rid of Calyrex and Cresselia. Two bulky Trick Room Centers. And I think they're only Trick Room Centers. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. But now here, I can just bring out Mewtwo if I want to. Or I could just bring out Ndidi. And just helping him Moonblast. Yeah, you know, let's bring out Ndidi. Let's set the Psychic Terrain here early. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. And it's going to be Ninetales. So, Alola Ninetales comes out here. That's no big deal. No big deal for my Mewtwo. And from here, we just want to start chipping up damage onto Incineroar, right? You can set up a war veil, I mean. Sure, go ahead. That's fine by me, but for now we are just gonna go for helping hand right in the flutter main. And just keep looking to do damage onto Incineroar because Incineroar is really our only problem that we have on our hands now. So if I get rid of this Incineroar, I know my Mewtwo can 1v1 this uh nine tails, even in a war veil, and Moonblast just doing a good chunk of damage. A good chunk of damage. Was just gonna fly through here, and they're not even going for a war veil, which we love. No freezes? No freezes. We love that. We love that. No freezes. We love no freezes. So from here, helping hand, we can switch it on, honestly, into Dazzle Gleam here. And Dazzle Gleam should KO, but honestly, I want to just make sure Incineroar dies out. I want to make sure Incineroar dies out. I don't want to go for Dazzle Gleam, leave this thing on 1 HP, have it pick up a KO, and maybe, like, freeze my Flutter main with a Blizzard. That could be rough. That could be rough. The Ninetales going to go for another Blizzard. Honestly, Ndidi, you might soak this. Yeah, okay. So we're, we don't even need Mewtwo for this battle here. Actually, we might. But from here, another Helping Hand Moonblast is in our best interest. Cancel the battle. They don't. They're just hanging around here. But Chiyu with Overheat, good calls for us, great reads. Puts us back in the wind column. Putting us back in the wind column. And the Flutter Mage is hitting like a truck, man. It's hitting like a truck. And we get to bring out Mewtwo here, though. Ndidi dies out here. Mewtwo... We're going to let it deliver the final blow with Psy Strike because it looks so sick. And honestly, Psy Strike is a weird move. 
It's a special attack and move that deals physical attacking damage. It's weird. It's weird. I actually want to. I was trying to read up on it. Yeah. The user materializes an odd psychic wave to attack the target. The move deals physical damage. It's weird, but it looks so cool. It looks so cool. It's actually good in certain situations where Pokemon has higher special defense than defense. But from here, we're just going to go into a side strike, and they cancel the battle once I want to use a move. We're 1-0. No, not 1-0. 1-1. No, one one. Not a bad second match there. Chiyu just taking over, ripping with over. We love it. Made some great reads there, especially onto that Cresselia, and we just doubled down into that Calyrex, not dealing with it at all. But we're going up against a Terrapagos team. Now, when it comes to Terrapagos, I used it in the last video. If you guys haven't checked out that one, that team is absolutely amazing. Arguably the best Terrapagos team in Regulation G. So if you guys want a good Terrapagos team, go check out that video on it. But Terrapagos, tough little customer, especially with Grimstraw on the team. Screens are just a problem. They're just a problem. There's no other way for me to put it. And honestly, I have no way of hitting through screens. So I think they just lead Grimstrong and they just get after it. So from here, to be honest, I think we just go like Indeedee and Mewtwo. And then we bring the fish in the back end because I can set the Psychic Train. I can swap Indeedee for the fish and maybe just go for Expanding Forces. I don't know because that thing's going to be dark type, but we'll deal with it as time comes. Screens are they're just a problem. They can set up Calm Mind, no problem. It's tough, but as our final Pokemon, I kind of like Ogre Pond here. But at the same time, I just think Terrapagos might just get the best of us here. Oh man, this one's going to be brutal. This one's going to be brutal. Terrapagos is so good, and I don't know why I just seem to struggle playing up against Terrapagos. I feel like you have to target it down in order to actually beat it, because if not, it's just going to set up Calm Minds and just destroy your team. That's kind of why I brought Ogre Pond. Because I, I need a physical attacker. But they end up going Confi and Terrapagos. And I actually... I really like this. I, 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 I like this lead. I like this lead. So, we have the Psychic Terrain. They could honestly just go into like a... A Terrasalization right here. Just to get rid of the Terrain. But by swapping indeed here, that's going to be good for us. I'm going to Psychic Seeds up. I mean, we're just wasting our Psychic Seeds. But let's be honest. I think... Now's a good time to just go Chiyu. And do we Terra Dark? No, we don't Terra Dark. We just start throwing Expanded Forces. Might be able to KO Comfy. I know this thing does have Terra Shell, which is kind of annoying. But I'm going to swap Indeedy just in case. Well, for two reasons. One, to get the Chiyu out next to the Mewtwo. And two, just in case he wants to Terrasalize, it's going to take out Terrain. And then we can have Indeedy in the back end just to swap back into Terrain. But yeah, Trap Ghost. It's a problem, man. It has a lot of, like, unique things that make it so good. Especially, like, its Terra Shell ability, which makes every first shot not very effective. Which is honestly crazy because it just allows it to set up a calm mind. But I'm going to swap into my fish here. We love the little fishy here. She you. Goldfish right here. My boy. And let's see what they do. Comfy could just go for, like, a full healing. I'm going to be able to drop an expanded force. She's going to Terra Shell, of course. We love a good old Terra Shell. How much damage is this doing to Confi? It's KO and Confi, and that actually did a huge chunk of damage to Rapgoose, making me think we can actually KO it next turn. You going for Calm Mind? Yeah, Calm Mind boost. Even with the special defense boost, if we double down here, we can really get after it. We can really get after it. We can really get after it, but that's some big time damage on the Confi. We love getting rid of Confi because they would have just flow healed the next turn, and that could have been a problem. The chances are they just straight up Thrasalize here, right? Most likely, they want to just Thrasalize. This is where they send out Amoongus. And if they send out Amoongus, they might just not want to Thrasalize here. I'm going to go for Overheat and just dump on it. And I'll go for Expanded Force here. It's a trap ghost. Maybe I shouldn't have Overheat it, but... Honestly, it's fine. It's fine. This is just in case they Thrasalize the trap ghost. Because if they Thrasalize the trap ghost... Um, that means Amoongus isn't going to Thrasalize and Overheat could just KO. But if they don't, then Expanded Force should just stand on the field. But now comes the Terra. And it's going to be, I think this is Terrapagos, right? Yeah, it's going to be Terrapagos. They're just going to get rid of my terrain. So Chiyu should just absolutely lay out this Amoongus, right? <laughs> it should just level this thing. And then I can get the Psychic Terrain back out next turn, which is good. And I'm curious to see if Terrapagos is outspeeding me. But she is going to overheat. We're just going to level this Amoongus. Absolutely level it. Get it on out my face. And drop her special attack. 
So that happens. Um, you two, you outspeeding? You do. That's really good news. That's really good news. This shouldn't KO, but still do nice damage. I can swap it to Indeedy next turn. A Terra Starstorm should not KO my Mewtwo. If this KOs my Mewtwo, I'm getting off. It might KO my Chibi, but it's not KO my Mewtwo. Okay, cool. Neither. Awesome. We love that. So now it comes down to their final Pokemon. If their final Pokemon is slower than my Mewtwo, ooh, Ogre Pond. I was going to say we win this. And actually, we have our Ogre Pond to kind of check here. And honestly, Mewtwo's kind of fast. If you're outspeeding Mewtwo, this is big time. Oh my god, yeah, you are. Yes, you are. That should be game, right? That should be game. I can freely swap into DD, get that psychic terrain back, and then have our choice spec big time damage expanded force fly. We love it. We love it. They took out our train. We're bringing it right back here. And this might be my first win on Trap Ghost team in a long time. Might be. It might be. Can we one shot this Ogre Pond? I feel like we should, right? I feel like we should. This damage is absurd. This damage is absurd. Stab? It's not super effective. Choice spec, psychic train boost. Ogre Pond, get on out of here. This is going to be one of my first wins in a while up against Trap Ghost. This feels good. This feels good, especially losing our first match on a match that I feel like we should have won. But from here, we're just going to add helping hand to this situation. Go for expanded force. And that's going to be game, set, match. Thanks for playing. We go 2-1 for today's video with me too. Like I said in the beginning of... uh of the video me too not that good but it's not going to stop us from getting wins there you go ladies and gentlemen a mewtwo team and another winning record on the channel two and one for today's video i'm proud of myself for that one especially taking out terry the trapicus at the end there we'd love it mewtwo thrived out in match number one and in match number three and chiyu was low-key a star in today's video too match number two it clutched up with big time overheats and same thing with match number three just ripping into that amoogus absolutely leveling it taking out in one shot cannot go wrong with overheat on chiyu but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread this positive video i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody